everyone. I'm Rachel and I welcome you all to Executive Corner Expert Talks. Today I'm speaking with Mr. Iggy Chan, Managing Director at Altec Chemicals. Now, Altec Chemicals is aiming to become one of the world's leading suppliers of 99.99% high purity alumina and has a processing plant at Johor in Malaysia. Here at Kalkine, we bring you industry leaders, successful business owners, market and equity advocates all under one roof to help you discover the insights of the stock markets and help you understand how you can create multiple passive income streams. Welcome, Iggy. Good to see you today. Good morning, Rachel. Thanks for having me. Now, Iggy, electric car company Tesla, in their recent battery day, they announced some future developments in their batteries. What can you tell me about the future of lithium ion batteries? Uh, yeah, I guess Tesla's really setting the vision for lithium ion batteries. And in their recent battery day, they announced three terawatts of uh, battery uh, producing capacity by 2030. So that's a lot of battery production around the world. And what is interesting also is that they announced uh, the increasing use of silicon in lithium ion batteries. And I can explain uh, to you later on about the significance of uh, silicon in lithium ion batteries going forward. It sounds very interesting. Now, your company also announced some developments on using high purity alumina as coatings on graphite anodes. Can you tell us more about this, please? Yeah, Rachel, we've developed a technology where we use our high purity alumina coatings in graphite materials. Now, as you know, graphite is an anode material in lithium ion batteries. Uh, what a lot of people don't realize is that when you first charge a lithium ion batteries, the lithium ions go from the cathode to the anode. Uh, when you discharge it, the lithium ions go back to the other way. But what a lot of people don't realize is that about eight or 10% of that lithium remains on the anode and becomes inactive to the battery. What it does is it forms an SEI layer around the graphite particles and once it forms that layer, it becomes inactive to the battery. Now imagine that 10% of your lithium inventory doesn't take any part in the future life of the battery. I mean, this is a real problem for the battery industry and they've been trying to resolve this problem. Now, our company believes that uh, using alumina coatings will resolve this uh, SEI layer from forming. And we believe that it has a uh, uh, game-changing uh, benefits um, for the lithium-ion industry. So Iggy, you mentioned before Tesla's vision to use silicon in lithium-ion batteries. Why is this such an important technological challenge? Uh, yeah, Rachel, um, silicon actually has 10 times the energy capacity compared to uh, graphite in a lithium ion battery. So for a lay person, there are 10 times more sites that the lithium can sit on. So you can see that if you have lithium in that battery, you're gonna have 10 times more energy. Now, if silicon is such a promising anode material, uh, why isn't it being used in lithium ion batteries today? Essentially, there are three problems, Rachel. The first problem is that in a lithium battery, silicon expands 300% in volume to the point that it fractures. And number two, it has that uh, SEI layer or the first cycle loss instead of 10% for graphite, it's probably close to 50% for silicon. So imagine 50% of your lithium inventory is absorbed on its first charge. And then thirdly, it's got a very high fade. So it, uh, the performance of the battery drops if you don't resolve the, the three problems of silicon. Now, I also understand that you believe that your alumina game-changing coating technology could help to resolve these issues. Yes, Rachel, we believe that our alumina coating uh, will resolve this fracturing problem. So we believe that the coating uh, contains the fracture 
And also, remember I talked about this uh, SEI layer. If you have a coating of alumina, you don't have the lithium absorbed on its first charge, and you don't lose 50% of the, uh, the lithium in the first charge. Now we've done a lot of work in our research and development laboratories, and we managed to coat our alumina around the silicon particle, very uniform layer around the silicon and graphite particle. Uh, and we have now put it into uh, batteries and we've done a lot of the testing work uh, for the performance of the batteries. What we can say is that it looks very promising. Uh, obviously, we have to uh, conduct more trials, uh, but the, the performance so far looks very promising. It's very exciting developments indeed, Iggy. Now, your company is progressing rapidly into commercialising this technology. You also have a focus in Europe. Can you tell me more about this? Yes, yeah, so what we're doing is that we are commercialising the technology uh, and we have commenced a pre-feasibility study for a, a battery materials coating plant in Germany. Uh, it's a state of Saxony in Germany. Uh, and the reason we focus on, on Europe is because I guess the, uh, the story of our, about the lithium ion battery will be Europe in the next decade. And the reason for that is that all the European car manufacturers have announced that they will go all electric uh, by years like 2025 or 2030. And so uh, consequently, there are 600 gigawatts of uh, battery making capacity that has been announced in Europe. And uh, what the Europe is uh, very focused on is that they want all their materials to come within Europe uh, rather than relying on other parts of the world. That's the reason why we're doing our pre-feasibility on this battery materials plan in Germany. So very exciting future. Uh, lithium ion batteries will be Europe in the next decade. And just lastly, Iggy, you have some very high calibre partners. Can you tell us more about those? Absolutely. Uh, we have recently signed up a, a collaboration uh, agreements with uh, SGL Carbon, one of the largest graphite producers uh, in the world. Uh, we also signed a collaboration agreement with Spheroglobe, uh, one of the uh, largest silicon producers in the world. And we also have uh, NDAs with uh, a couple of German automakers. Uh, they're very interested in our technology and we're in the process of sharing some of the, uh, the research we've done. Some very exciting developments there, Iggy. It's been great to chat to you. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for having me, Rachel. Thank you. With that, I will sign off for today, but watch this space for more. Till then, stay apprised and invest wise with Kalkine.